Hi, uh, my name is Peter Devaney from Creative Leap. I want to talk in this short presentation about uh, on the job training, which is a plugin for Totra LMS. I've called this training from the front because when I first saw this plugin, I thought that it really extends the reach of our learning management system and our training out onto the shop floor, onto the desk, into the work of our learners. And as such, it's a huge addition to the uh, formal training events, the e-learning, the other performance support resources that we uh, already have in our LMS. I'm going to talk in three parts. I'm going to say a few words of background to the plugin. Uh, I'm then going to walk through a quick uh, use case, a quick example to show how it works and then show a little bit of the setup um, and how easy it is to, to implement. Uh, it's not a training video uh, as such, though I think you'll find that having seen this, you're pretty much most of the way there in terms of, uh, of actually using it. So um, uh, let's take a look. It is, as I mentioned, a plugin uh, for Totra versions 2.7 and, as I speak, 2.9 as well. Once installed, it creates a course activity, um, much like the quizzes, the assignments, the forums that we already have out of the box in Totra. Um, it creates an activity that we can include uh, in our courses. And as such, it's fully integrated with all of the reporting and the tracking systems uh, that we already have in Totra. Things like completion tracking, activity tracking, the gradebook, the certifications and programs, uh, competency frameworks, all of these can feed off and report on the work that we do within this plugin. We can include uh, on the job training in all of these reports. It was developed by Catalyst for NZ Customs. I think you can probably imagine that Customs is an area which is won or lost on the front line. So it's all very well having the formal training and the theory and the knowledge, but it's only when you're uh, facing down some shifty character with an odd bulge in their suitcase that you find out that whether you can do the job or not. So I guess uh, if it works in a Customs hall, it should, should work anywhere. Um, it's open source and freely available and it's actively supported and enhanced, and, and enhanced there is a user community out there that are feeding back into the product. Uh, so it is being and will be uh, improved. When I first saw this, the applications that came into my mind were things like manufacturing and retail and construction, uh, those sorts of stand-up jobs that require a, uh, a visual check, if you like, of someone's competence on the job. Uh, but that said, given that there are very few jobs that are pure, require pure knowledge transfer these days, I think the, the range of applications for this is, is pretty much limitless. In terms of where it fits, uh, in terms of our um, styles of training and our methods of training, we, we recall that 10% of learning takes place in the formal training events. Uh, we have 20% in uh, uh, learned through coaching and support, and really 70% is learned on the job. Um, so I think on-the-job training fits in the 20% pretty firmly, as you can imagine, but probably creeps over into the 70 just just a little bit. So let's introduce some uh, a cast of characters that will take us through a, an example of, uh, of this on-the-job training working. I'm imagining that we're in a retail situation and uh, we have Leo, a trainee who's just started uh, with the branch. Um, now what we do is we pair Leo up with a buddy uh, called Yana and as Leo joins we will give Yana a, a tablet or an iPad and uh, she will uh, follow Leo around and sign off on the various tasks that he's doing. But the final sign off rests with Paula, the manager. Um, so we've actually got two roles there. We've got Yana in this sort of formative, supportive training role. Uh, she needs to witness the fact that he's done these things, but it's only by keeping uh, Paula happy and satisfying her that Leo can do the job that he will he will get through to the next step. And I'm taking as a basis for this um, uh, a training check sheet, very like the ones you find in a lot of work situations. And I've broken this down into three areas. We, we, we imagine that Leo needs to be competent on the checkout. He needs to do some stock management. Uh, and inevitably, uh, there is a health and safety aspect to this as well. So each of these topics is broken down into uh, different topic items. And in each case, uh, Yana, the buddy, has to witness this. And uh, the manager has to uh, sign off on the, on the whole sheet. 
So let's go into Totra and we'll take a look and see how this plays out for each of our three actors. Okay, so um, let's have a look at the, uh, uh, the, the LMS from the point of view of each of our um, actors, each of our participants. Um, I'm logged on as Leo at the moment, and what we've got is we've got a small uh, course there called A Day in the Life of a Branch, and we can imagine that we've got a blend of training uh, events or resources in there and activities. So we've got an induction, we can imagine that that might be um, a piece of e-learning or something like that. Uh, we've got some coaching resources in there, so perhaps a stock take video and some standard operating procedures. Um, the piece that we are interested in, though, is the on-the-job training at, at the bottom. So um, let's go and take a look and see what Leo might see. Um, and what we have here is basically the check sheet that we um, looked at a moment ago. Uh, with each of the three topics on there, the checkout, the stock management, and the health and safety. And we can see that uh, Leo has completed, looks like Leo has completed the checkout, so he's marked himself as complete on that. Uh, he's put some comments in here. We can also see that Jana has witnessed it, so that's uh, witnessed as complete. Um, and we can see that the manager has signed off on it now and made some comments there. Um, the important point to note here is that we have control over how much or how little we show our trainee, how much Leo can see. It may be um, that we don't want the trainee seeing the sheet at all, that we're simply observing them and that we're noting that down. Now, in that case, we can simply remove those permissions and, and Leo would never visit this screen at all. But we're imagining in this case that he's going to uh, just make some comments and perhaps some reflective comments on his own performance and, and mark himself complete. The other thing it allows us to do is to, and we can see here, the, the, here with the refunds, it allows us to update uh, files. These could be PDFs or pictures or forms or any evidence associated with the activity can be uploaded and obviously re revisited or reproduced on request later on. So Leo can do that or the uh, assessor can do that. Um, it looks like, we can see here, he's got the tick against the checkout, so it looks like Leo has um, completed that one. It's signed off, it's witnessed. If we look a wee bit further down, he's done a couple of the uh, stock management ones. Uh, it looks like those have been completed by him, but not yet witnessed, uh, nor signed off. Uh, and he hasn't yet started on the health and safety. So let's imagine that he uh, is now going to do uh, one of these topic items so he can physically identify branch hazards. Uh, so perhaps he'll go around and uh, with the buddy and, and look at, um, identify each of these areas. And when he's complete, he'll simply check it here and make a comment and say, um, I don't know, it took me a while. or something like that, and so on. So now basically saying that, uh, we're basically saying this is ready for witness. So that's really all Leo needs to do. He's simply uh, assuming that this form has been made available to him, and as I say, we may not need to do that. He simply needs to visit each of uh, the topics and, and either ticket complete or, 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 or um, uh, ticket and, and add some comments there. So let's go and take a look at what this looks like from our buddy's point of view, from Yana's point of view. We're logged on as Yana and uh, I, I've gone into the same course. She, of course, sees uh, the same course page. Um, and we'll just visit the on-the-job uh, training activity. Uh, the first thing she actually sees is her own uh, uh, on-the-job training form. We're not interested in that, but available to her is a button up here called Evaluate Students. So we'll just click there. And it's Leo's performance that we're interested in. So we will uh, evaluate there. And we see much the same form uh, that Leo um, saw before. So we've got all the topics and the topic items there. Uh, we've already witnessed these ones, so that's, that's absolutely fine. Um, uh, note that Yana can uh, also upload files. So uh, either the uh, trainee or the evaluator um, can, can upload files where relevant. And again, as I mentioned, these can be photos, PDFs, any, any electronic asset that, that you can think of. Um, 
Now, perhaps um, we are going to evaluate Leo for his stock management. And let's imagine he's done uh, pretty well. So we'll just witness him there. And we'll just sign him off for those things. So it literally is just a click uh, to sign off. Uh, we can add a comment as well. We can say something like, um, Leo did very well at this task. Uh, and that's really um, uh, all we need to do as a witness. So that really is the witness's job done. Um, there's a few, oh, there's one more to witness there, so let's just uh, sign that off. We, we won't sign the whole topic off. And that's really all that Jana needs to do. Uh, simply tick the boxes there if she's comfortable that Leo has, has fulfilled the requirements of that topic item. So let's just take a look then at what the manager needs to do. This is Paula's job to um, uh, give the final sign off on uh, Leo. Okay, uh, I'm signed on as Paula. Um, in the course, uh, we'll just go into the on the job activity and uh, we'll see Paula's screen looks uh, very like uh, Jana's screen. Uh, again, uh, Paula's own sheet there, she, she has, has not done any of this, but let's go straight through to evaluate students uh, into Leo's record. And we'll see available to us is the manager's sign off here. So all I need to do as a manager, provided that I'm satisfied with the uh, performance in this topic, is sign off like that and perhaps add a comment um, just to say, well done both. Um, and that really is it. That's the process over. Okay, uh, I said I would say a few words about the setup of on-the-job activities. So um, I'm on as an administrator now and I'm going to uh, set up a, a quick activity. I'm going to imagine that uh, Leo or, or, or a learner is being uh, needs to be walked through some of the back offices proce office processes in our branch. Uh, so we have things like um, producing monthly reports and uh, conducting staff interviews and those sorts of things that we might uh, uh, we might want some on the job training for him there. So um, as we would if we were adding any other activity, I'm just going to turn the editing on in the course and we get our ad activity and resources so we just click on there and we see once the plugin is installed the on-the-job training is just another activity so we will add that and we will call this back office training Let's spell it correctly back office procedures perhaps And for our um, topics and for our topic items, we need to nominate whether they require management sign-off uh, or uh, and or item completion sign-off. So this is our manager and our buddy here. So what we're doing here is we're, if you like, creating that sheet that we looked at earlier, but for these back office procedures. Um, as well as that, we have um, the module settings that you would normally uh, expect to see. We have these in our other activities as well. And we can also set the activity completion. Uh, again, this is straight out of the box uh, from Totra. So we'll just say, uh, we'll mark this complete when everything is uh, witnessed and signed off. Uh, so that's the basis, that's the first step in that feed up to those reports, to the completion that I, that I mentioned earlier. So let's uh, save and... Um, go back to the course. Now at the moment our sheet if you like is empty uh, so what we will do first is we will add some topics and these are the main headings that we had uh, we have on our sheet. So for back office you might have monthly uh, procedures. Um, we can link the uh, topic to a competency so that achieving this topic will, uh, will count towards a competency. Uh, we can specify them as being optional, in which case they won't uh, they won't be required to obtain sign-off. And we can allow comments. We saw the comments earlier at the bottom of each topic. So let's save changes there. And I will just add maybe one more topic will, will, will be fine to show us. Uh, and the second topic would be um, staff um, management. There we go. And again, we'll allow comments for that one. Um, so those are the main headings. Within each one, we add our topic items. So within back um, within the um, 
monthly procedures, we might have reporting. And again, we have the option of that being optional. Uh, and again, this is where we decide whether we're going to allow file uploads uh, for this item. Uh, I imagine if you've got a monthly report, you might want to uh, upload a sample to show that this person uh, knows what they're doing. So we'll save that. And um, we will have another one, monthly reporting. What else do you do at the end of the month? Um, I'll call it close out. Um, and we'll have, uh, we don't need to worry about the uploads there. So we've got a couple there, and perhaps staff management, we will have uh, interviewing. I'll leave the, and performance management. So um, that really is all we need to do to set these sheets up. And you can see that took me all of about, I'm guessing 45 seconds to a minute uh, to set up those uh, two headings and the topic items in there. And if we now go back to our course page, look at our back office procedures, you'll see we've got a sheet for back office procedures, very like the one that we had for um, the uh, um, branch procedures, the, the front of house procedures. So with that, we'll leave Totra. Um, I hope you're getting a really good idea of, uh, first of all, how easy it is to use, and secondly, how effective it is, um, and can think of lots of applications for it. I, I think it really is, uh, the limit really is only one's imagination for these things. So I hope you can see how uh, on-the-job training has helped us bring on Leo uh, a lot more quickly, a lot more efficiently than we might otherwise have done, and how we've made sure that he is across all of the tasks that he needs to work in the branch, and both Yana and Paula, the, the buddy and the manager, are um, satisfied that he can, he can do the job. So I guess um, really to wrap up, I see the... The key benefits of this, firstly, as drawing um, uh, all of the learning events uh, in our work environment into, a, into the single record of learning that we have for, um, uh, for our learners or our staff. So um, obviously the e-learning and the seminars, all of those we, we already track, but we can now track uh, that coaching, that learning that takes place out on the shop floor. And that gives us a really good view of true staff learning and capability. So we can run reports off that will tell us, for instance, how many people have reached what level of competence in, uh, say, uh, stock management or uh, within the branch. Where are there gaps in our training or capability? We've got a really good view of uh, all of those things at a much greater level of detail. Um, for our auditors, um, they can uh, run off a report and just click through and see exactly what evidence has been presented uh, to show that someone is competent uh, in a particular area. So we saw that we could upload files. Um, uh, and, you know, any auditor is just a few clicks away uh, from seeing exactly where and when the training has taken place. And obviously, um, uh, Jana no longer needs to walk around with a lot of paper, um, which can get lost or end up sitting on the coffee cups and so forth. Uh, she does everything electronically and that feeds straight into the, the records of learning, into the reports and so forth. So overall, a huge uh, boost for the training that takes place out on the shop floor, in the office, uh, in the work environment. So I'm going to leave it there. You are most welcome to get in touch and ask any questions. I will leave you with the contact details, but uh, thank you very much for your attention and um, uh, good luck with Totra and with the on-the-job training plugin.